All right, peace and greetings, YouTubers. So welcome to the shout out series. In this series, I just want to share with you all the work of many different people. People who may be artists that have different projects they're releasing, like an album or maybe even just a song. People who are business owners who have different goods and services that they provide. People who are just creative and have things that you can't even put a label on. People who are also bloggers, who have YouTube channels, who release books. Just a little bit of everything. You know, the main reason I wanted to do this series was because as I look and I reflect back on just my own journey with YouTube and, and the music and, and the film and the comedy and the dance and everything else I do in the podcast, some of you, especially the subscribers, have really rolled with me for like years. And I mean, the support is like consistent and sometimes it's not even warranted, you know? And so I just wanted to make sure that I'm giving that same energy that you guys give me. Um, and then random, I was driving to work one day. This, this, is so, this is such a me thing. I was driving to work and I was just sitting and I was looking and I was like, you know, every car on this freeway with me, every single person around me, every single person in the car, whether they're driving or riding in the back or riding in the front, you know, they all have their own journey, their own story. And there's somebody on here right now who's driving to some job they don't feel like going on because they don't want to be at work because really what they want to do is they want to go and they want to finish trying to open their own bakery or they want to finish doing their graphic design project or they want to finish doing their album or they want to do what, you know, a lot of people have so many things that they would rather be doing than what they have to do that sometimes you know, they don't get the time to really just put the exposure out there and really work on their craft because society has been created to, you know, exist in a realm where all of us got to abide by nine to five lifestyles once you become an adult. It's such BS. So anyway, that's very random. But long story short, going back to what I was saying, I just want to give that same energy to, to people who sometimes just want that extra boost of motivation. Just know that there's somebody riding with you as you're on your journey, you know what I mean? So as I'm making my own little small climb, I wanna pull some people up with me, okay? It's not just the me show, it's the we show. I know that's very corny, but y'all get the gist of what I'm saying, um, or just what I'm saying. But anyway, let's jump into it. So the first person I want to shout out is Jason. Now Jason is in the Bay Area in California, specifically Vallejo. You know I always shout out the Bay because that's where a lot of my family is. Shout out to Richmond and Pittsburgh and Antioch and Concord and Oakland and East Bay and all y'all over there. Um, so he and his daughter actually started a business. Now this business, what I like about it is it's something that's empowering specifically for young black youth. And the business, or at least the website is called um, IamPerfectBrown.com. And what they do is they actually make t-shirts with empowering messages. And really what I like about it is it addresses the issue of colorism. You know in this society we have a lot of young black children. And at this point it's not even just black folks because colorism is global. It, you, we've talked about it being in Southeast Asia. We've talked about it being in South America, um, in South Asia as far as where the Middle East is. Like It's just something that's universal. But within the black community it's always been an issue and that's across the diaspora whether you're in Africa whether you're in the Caribbean whether you're in the Afro Latino communities or just around the you know <laughs> the United States um, it's always been an issue so what I like about it is that the messages that are there are really positive and empowering and they have a bunch of different t-shirts and everything like that you can check out the website works you know sometimes somebody is sending you like their business link and you click the website and they didn't pay the webmaster that month. And so when you click the website, it takes you to some office furniture website. But anyway, no, the website works. And in addition to that, he also started an additional business called MySuperHeroTees.com. I'm going to have the links to all of these businesses and everybody a shout out in the description as well. But it's a great business to shout out. I will definitely say, Jason, if you get an opportunity to go to any HBCU homecoming and, and if you can get a booth, I can tell you right now, you will sell out of everything that you have. So... I suggest you, you try to get to that Florida A&M homecoming or, or Howard or, or uh, North Carolina A&T or, you know, the Spell House homecoming. Like, those are some really big events. If you can get a booth, I, I listen, man, that, you'll sell out all that stuff real quick. So shout out to Jason. Um, it's always good when somebody is doing something positive. And it's dope that he started the business with his daughter. You know, that, that's even doper, like getting her exposed to the idea of entrepreneurship. So that's dope. Now this next shout out is to Meet and Greet Prime Steaks. This is a black owned steak delivery company based in the DMV. If you check out their website, they have a bunch of different package deals for what it is that you can order as far as ordering wholesale or ordering individually, and they deliver door to door. So definitely if you're somebody who doesn't really like to get your meat from the grocery store because maybe you think they have too many preservatives and steroids in the meat, this is definitely a company to check out. So this next shout out is to Ashley Harris. Now Ashley Harris is an author, she's a poet, she's a spoken word artist, and she performs all around the DMV as well as other areas on the East Coast. And she recently released a book, If the Hero of Time Was Black. 
I'm trying to make sure it's in focus because I know if I move it too close, it starts to get blurry. So I'm going to just keep it by my face. All right. This is available on Amazon. Now, what was very interesting about this book was that it was such a different take and it was something I haven't seen before. Pretty much what she's done is it's a book of poetry and it's centered around the idea of associating the game, The Legend of Zelda, and associating it with how people interact with race. And so it's a very creative lane that she took and it's very different. I wanted to read with and share with you guys one of the descriptions that somebody left as a review. So. If the hero of time was black, takes one of America's favorite video games and uses it to masterfully demonstrate how deeply the threat of inequality is woven into society, Harris not only explores the issues of race, but she directly addresses players of the game and implores them not to ignore striking similarities between the real and virtual worlds. And where that person is getting at is there is a poem in this book that pretty much just talks about the experience of when you have to do gaming and you have to deal with the element of racism. If you're not somebody who does games, you don't really understand because I'm not really a gamer either, but you know when the people put the little headphones on and they start doing all the different games. Now you know if you're a black person, or not even if you're a black person, if you just get on some of them games where you can go live and connect with people all around the world, one of the first things you're going to hear after five minutes is the N-word. Probably followed by the F word in association to people's sexuality and then 10 more N words and everything like that. And, and you hear a lot of crazy stuff that's off the wall if you're one of them people with the headset on at 2 in the morning playing some game. And so she's taken all of that and put it into a book of poetry. It's very, very, it's a, it's a unique read. And it's a pretty quick book too. It's a, it's a quick read. You can read it in one sitting. Um, so definitely check this out. Again, it's available on Amazon. All right. This next shout out is to the YouTuber Undercover Beats. Now this is an up and coming producer who really just wants to solidify their footing when it comes to the world of production. And they're looking for different artists to work with. If you go to their channel, they have examples of all of their music on there. I've seen um, Brandy type production. I've seen songs that were in the theme of what Ariana Grande has going. And so they have an entire catalog of the work that they're putting out there. And they're just looking for people to work with. So definitely give them a chance if you want to check them out. All right. Moving on. So this next shout out is to Jeffrey Thompson. And let me say, what I liked about doing this series is that there was such a variety when it came to the submissions that were coming in. You weren't just getting all of the same thing. You got so many different kind of projects. And this is another example. So Jeffrey is a screenwriter and he's been working on an animated movie pitch and it's called The Legend of Carrico Road. And so it takes place in Missouri. It's really covering the grounds of what's been happening in Ferguson when we're talking about police brutality and everything like that. However, there's some plots and twists and it's actually a horror movie. And so I'm gonna post the link in the description and you can actually watch the actual the pitch it's it's on his youtube channel um it's like four or five minutes you can definitely check it out and so definitely support him in his project and i believe he has some other things he's also working on but this is what he submitted to me and so like i said i, I just thought this was such a very unique idea it's very different from what you see a lot of people doing and of course it's always really cool to see black animators you know you don't always get to see that, you know, at least as far as what's presented to us, you, you would think there aren't any. So I'm glad that people are really working on what it is they're passionate about. So I was definitely down to give him this shout out. You know what I mean? This next shout out goes to Rob. And by the way, Rob is really cool in person as well. But Rob has a YouTube channel called Rob's Rides. And on this channel, he's giving you firsthand experience of what it's like to be on a bunch of thrill rides and roller coasters from all around the world. He's giving you reviews and just showing you exactly what it's like to be on that ride with supporting visuals as well. And so, I mean, he goes and he does the research and, you know, the, you're finding out how tall the rides are and how fast they go and everything like that. And with the delivery style that he has, it's also entertaining. So it's not like you're getting bored watching it. So it's a really great channel to watch. I mean, this is a graduate from Morehouse College. He just has a lot of things going for him. It's a really great channel. And like I said, I like that he's doing something that's different. A lot of us YouTubers, we kind of stick to the same lane of current events and politics and entertainment. And some people do the cosmetic thing or the how-tos. He decided to go this lane. And I don't think you see a lot of people in that lane. So good for him. And so check out his channel when you get a chance. And again, like I said, I'm going to put all of the links to everybody's stuff in the description just in case we get lost in the shuffle. All right. So I definitely want to shout out three more YouTube channels before I start shouting out the artist pages. And I definitely have to shout out Camray Music TV. Now she's been a supporter for a long time, like for years, at least since like 2011, 2012. I mean, she was there in the beginning when I was still in my mama's kitchen doing videos. And so I definitely have to give her a shout out. And so she also has her own channel. And by the way, congrats, she also just got married. And I'm like, look at her trying to be grown and stuff. Meanwhile, I'm still trying not to cuss when I'm on the phone with my mama. But anyway, 
check out her channel. Her channel has a lot of content on it. I mean, she's doing TV show reviews. She's taking you on life journeys and she's been through a bunch of different journeys and she's been transparent and shared it with her subscribers. She's talking entertainment, current events. There's a bunch of different things on there. There's a lot of positivity on that channel as well. So if you just need some good energy to kind of support, that's definitely a channel to check out. I'm subscribed to it. I suggest you check it out as well. So this next shout out is to the YouTube channel Talks with Queen J. And on her channel, she's spending a lot of energy talking about issues affecting the black community. And the reason why I wanted to shout out her channel is because one, she's talking about substance and two, it's hard to have those videos where you talk those subjects sometimes. You know, when you have a channel that's not a lot of fluff, but you're actually talking about things that are important to different groups of people, but they may not always be popular conversations for the water cooler or even the dinner table. You know, sometimes you're met with a lot of backlash. Sometimes you're met with people who are going to disagree with you and try to insult and, and attack your character. But let me tell you this. She is no punk and she's very transparent and very stern with how she feels about a lot of things. So I definitely shout her out and give her kudos for that. And also she's on a life journey with something that she's personally dealing with that you can check out on her channel that she's very transparent about, which I also think is very cool. So definitely check out her channel. Um, again, it's called Talks with Queen J. So this next shout out is to the YouTube channel, Nati Gal Ari. My accent is trash, man. My accent sucks so bad. Ugh. Anyway, so on her channel, she has a bunch of different things you can check out. She does giveaways. She's giving hair tutorials. She's even doing story time and telling you just some of her past experiences and everything like that. And also when she travels and goes to different places, she also shares the experience in blogs that. So if you're into like traveling blogs and stuff, that's kind of cool as well. So definitely check out her channel. Again, it's Nati Gal Ari. Dang, my accent is terrible. I just, you know, and it's funny, like even working with the groups of people that I've worked with, I, I still can't pick up any of their accents. Even when I try to imitate them, they're terrible. Absolutely terrible. Anyway, moving on. So this next shout out is to the artist Tory Richardson. That's also his Instagram handle as well. And by the way, I might want to give him a thank you because there's some videos and some subjects in my in the news videos that would have never seen the light of day had he not given me a heads up on Instagram about a certain story or a trending topic. When I tell you, there's some days where I'm laid up, tired, exhausted, don't feel like doing a video, and I'll get a notification. It's like, hey, Calvin, did you see this? And I'm like, oh, shoot. Oh, oh, let me get on it. You know, so he kind of keeps me on my feet with YouTube. He, and it's like a few more people that do that as well. It's a good, like, 20 of y'all that like, constantly, like, you will tag me in something when you see it. And so I'm like, I do appreciate y'all for doing that. It helps me stay on top of things because sometimes I'm out of the loop with a lot of things. But Tori is a singer and a vocalist, and I mean, he's really been putting in work. He's a great vocalist, has a lot of range and everything like that, has a great appreciation for music. And so definitely check out his Instagram channel. You'll see a bunch of different covers. You'll see him doing some original material. He can play guitar. I mean, he's somebody who's just really passionate about music. He just wants people to hear his gift. So definitely check him out when you get a chance. If you're somebody who's a producer or an artist and you're just looking for somebody else to also work with, definitely check out, see if you guys can collab. It's definitely a person to check out. So again, that artist is Tori Richardson. Now this next shout out goes to the artist Uncle Bay. And he has a project out on SoundCloud and it's called Regeneration Mixtape Part 1 and 2. Now my favorite song on the project is a song called The Source. He also wants a lot of people to check out the song called Ivory Coast. Um, really great project. He's a rapper. If you're really just into something a little different from what you normally hear on the radio, I think this is a great project to check out. In addition to that, there's a few more tracks and everything on that SoundCloud page, so I'll have the link in the description. But yeah, definitely check out that mixtape. I think it's it's very different, you know, And but I like the lyrics and I like that it's not what you hear on the radio. So if you're somebody who appreciates musicality and melody with your rap music, then this is definitely something to check out. I just appreciated the fact that I could hear some chords. You know, sometimes with a lot of rappers, the the music element gets gets swallowed up and it's just all about the rapping. I'm like, damn, can y'all put some melody with it though? Like, let some music be in there. So he's definitely an artist that meets that standard. So definitely kudos to him in the mixtape um, project. And like I said, he has a bunch of other work out there. So definitely check it out. Check the SoundCloud out. The link will be in the description. This next shout out is to the artist Dana Monet. She recently released the single Unapologetically Black and in addition she also has an EP coming out on March 20th. And now all of her music is available in all digital formats. But by the way, just definitely check her out and support her. Like there's some people who are just, you know, good people. Like she's good people. Um, really good energy, positive vibes all the time. And so definitely check out her music. Really great vocalist by the way. And if you check out her Instagram as well, she has lots of covers and everything like that as well. So definitely check out her project and when she drops the album on March 20th, we'll all be listening. So definitely check out the artist Dana Monet. 
Now this next shout out is to an artist named Sean Jonas and he's coming out of Toronto, Canada and he's 17. And by the way, good for you for being 17 and jumping on things early. You know, sometimes we take so long before we really jump into our passions because we're so afraid to step out there. So good for you. And so he has a project and it's an experimental project called Teen. It's available on SoundCloud. He also is working on the follow up. Now what I like, it wasn't on the project but it was on his actual YouTube channel. There's a video of him singing a song called Daydreaming, and I thought it was really nice. He's on the piano playing it and singing it. You know, he's really, it's a, it's a video where he gets to expose his range and everything like that. So good for you, Sean. Jump on it. We'll be checking out um, the new project when it's ready. The next artist I would like to shout out is an artist named Stephanie Monique, and her music has really been gaining some traction. She recently had a song that hit like 300-something thousand streams, so good for her. The song she's currently promoting is a song called TikTok, and it's a great listen, by the way. It's available on all digital music outlets, but another song of hers that I actually really liked as well is a song called Detour. It's from an earlier project she came out with in 2017, so definitely check out her music. It's available, like I said, on all digital music outlets. Her name is Stephanie Monique. Now this next shout out is to an artist named Lexi Soul, and Lexi Soul is an artist that pretty much covers all genres, whether it's rock, country, R&B, pop, dance, like they do a little bit of everything, and the cool thing is Lexi and their, her mother work together on everything, so the mother used to also be a singer, and now the mother has started to share the talents with the daughter Lexi, and so they're kind of like a duo where the mom is, you know, helping to mold and just support Lexi, and Lexi's doing her thing, and by the way, Lexi's mother sent me like the nicest email I think I've ever received in life. It was just so warm and uplifting and positive and I was like, dang, all this for me? <laughs> okay. I mean, like it, it was just, you know how sometimes you haven't even met somebody, but just based on how you interact in an email, you're like, I can imagine the joy you bring to people in real life. So, you know, definitely check out this project and I mean, it's extremely polished and really well mastered as well and like I said, they're tackling all the different genres. It's not just one sound. So it's it's R&B, it's rock music, it's country, it's pop, it's a little bit of everything. So definitely check out Lexi Soul when you get a chance. And by the way, Lexi can also speak Korean. So cool, you get it. Okay, you better be bilingual. All right, A. Marie, do some R&B and speaking Korean right afterwards. I ain't mad at you. Go ahead and be international. Good for you. All right, the last artist I want to shout out is an artist named Renando Yates. And he has a song called If You're Lonely. And so what I like about the song, and I think what I like is that it's different. It reminds me of like a PM Don, Set Adrift, The Memory, Bliss of You meets a Terrence Trent Darby type track. I can't explain. I, you'd have to listen to it to understand, but it's different. And you know, I like different. Different is always good for me. I don't want to hear too much of the same thing. And so it's a really different song. I like the vocal arrangement and I really like how the music has been laid out. It's just something that's just, it's just kind of refreshing. You know, it's just, it's a vibe. And so Definitely check it out. The artist again is Renando Yates, and their music is on YouTube as well, and um, I believe it's also on digital music outlets. I may be wrong, but definitely check it out. Again, Renando Yates' the song is If You're Lonely. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first edition of the Shout Out series. I know it was a little long, but hey, there was just so many of you, and I wanted to make sure everybody got an adequate amount of time and exposure. So thank you guys for sending those out, and for those who sat and watched all of these, I hope you guys go out and support all of the people. You know, it's all about just giving people a, a shot or an opportunity. It's not even about whether you like it, what it is that they have. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But you know, in the same realm that many of you just gave me a chance, you know, maybe you just saw my thumbnail as you were scrolling and you said, oh, that person looks interesting. You just happened to check me out and maybe liked what you saw and then subscribed and so on and so on. You never know what it is you're gonna get checking out the other artists. So I definitely say check them out. Give, just give them a chance, you know. For an artist and for people who have things that they're working on, sometimes people just want to know that somebody even sees them or somebody hears them, you know. Nothing worse than working on something and nobody sees it or nobody hears it or it doesn't get the exposure. But, you know, when you know that people are checking you out, even if they don't like it, it just makes you feel a little bit more validated with what it is that you're doing when you know that your work is getting to the masses. So shout out to all the people I shouted out. You all continue to do your thing. It's great that you're working on what it is that you're passionate about. And there's that. I have nothing left to say because, man, y'all just, there was so much to cover. And I'm so glad you all sent the stuff out. So everybody, definitely check out everybody. Um, everything's in the description. Those of you who were shouted out, definitely, if you want to put more information out there that maybe I wasn't able to cover, just add it in the comment section. The people will see it. Anyway, I'm out. Subscribe.